What's up? <laughs> Now you'll be back again with the end of the stream. Um, hold on, give, give, give me a second here. Give me a second here. I'm trying to take a look at this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit. I am miffed, I think would be the word to use. I'm a little bit miffed. Because. My homework uh, took me longer than I had. Um, than I thought it would. Okay, I'm a. Thanks for the wider. The, my the, my homework took me a little bit longer than uh, uh took me a little bit longer than I thought it would, and uh, I ended up missing literally everyone playing on the SMP because because I like just finished my homework <laughs> thirty minutes ago and then I went and ate dinner real quick, which is kind of crazy considering it's like eleven. <laughs> but I like go on my phone, like just to put on like a random video on YouTube while I'm like eating. And I see that like Corbin literally just finished his live, so I'm like, <laughs> dang, and I forgot to do the TTS. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pull this up. Man, now people were, 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 were sending messages, I completely missed them. But nonetheless, 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 we are going to be, I'm going to be doing some uh, SMP gameplay today. I'll be reacting to a couple things first, but uh, just because, I mean, certain reaction stuff is just like, it's way too, it's way too hot for me to not, uh, not cover it. There, there are lots of interesting things happening in the world of politics now. It's, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. Not, not, not what I was uh, expecting. I wasn't expecting stuff to get this interesting this quickly. But I guess post midterm election, we have a lot of interesting uh, things now. Uh, let's see. Oops. Hey, Mike, Mike, what's up? Oops, nice to see you in the, uh, the chat here. Uh, is it my girlfriend's Instagram got hacked? Oh. Interesting. I feel like there's been an uptick uptick in uh, hacks. Is that just me? Or is that like an actual thing that's becoming more prevalent now? Official Mike Mike said in the chat, you should talk about the Como teachers now, trying to propagate their teachings in schools. Wait. The, the, the what teachers should I propagate their teaching and what now? Is this like a limbs of TikTok thing? Send me. Said in the chat. Oh yeah 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 that whole thing. All pedos, maps not pedos. This is what's gonna be now. Of course, I mean, now I don't know how how like common this take is. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this here. I don't know how common this take is, but this is. The one of the big things that's going to cause Mike. the whole LGBT Said movement in the chat. to uh, Como is a slang term for pedos. Okay, um, this is I think what's going to be like the one of the big things that'll keep uh, the whole LGBT movement at bay. Like it's going to be a major, a major thing of um, <laughs> Mr. Pizza. So what do you watch, Andrew? Take uh, hey, what's up, Mr. Pizza? Main ways, yeah, this is what's gonna like really stem the tide of the the whole LGBT movement is um and it's to be to be fair, like for the folks who've been in the LGBT community uh, like community for the longest time, like like the, the lesbians, the the folks who are who are gay and bisexual, like the LGBs, um, because it initially was LGB first. It wasn't like trans people, they weren't in that group uh, originally. Um what's gonna cause that group to break down is just like every single person trying to piggyback on like the like oppression olympics that the whole movement has pretty much become was just like you know i'm oppressed i need to be need to be validated i need um accommodations for everything that's quirky and unique about me and um unfortunately uh you know plenty of quirks can be found among pedophiles um <laughs> And so now they're trying to piggyback and, and somewhat hijack the whole LGBT movement. Some people, I mean, I'm a conservative. Some people on the conservative, the conservative movement would say that, you know, 
um, that was the goal from the start. I don't know if that was the goal from the start. I'm sure that there might be some people who kind of realized that maybe, yeah, the natural conclusion of that is this. And so they tolerated the movement because of that. But I still don't think that that's not nearly, not nearly uh, the point. So all of that to say, once like pedophiles start like infiltrating, for, for lack of a better word, the LGBT community, and the in the movement because the community and the movement two different things um once they do that and they begin to act without Im- with with with, uh, with impunity and that's when i think we'll start to see like the tide change you know we also have the whole the whole trans issue of of, of individuals from who are of one sex going to the bathroom of, of, of individuals of another sex that could be a whole thing uh you know especially when you get kids involved you've already seen some like parents kind of get involved with that but i don't know if it'll be as widespread an issue um like a a white as widespread a thing that is gonna get like mainstream americans uh, up in arms over the whole movement as like pedos because like you know most trans people when they go to the bathroom they're really just using the bathroom of course it's completely understandable like people are made uncomfortable but at the end of the day the vast majority of them are not like gonna be um you no know, scaring people off or like shaking the willy around everywhere, like doing all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Now, when it comes to pedos, of course, like pedos, and, like that's a whole different arena, right? Like the whole thing about them is, um, you know, they're you know attracted to minors, which is what they want to be called minor attracted persons to make it seem like you know being attracted to minors is something that's benign when it's you know it's not. <laughs> really (laughs) but like that's how they want to be portrayed once you kind of start normalizing pedophilia or trying to normalize pedophilia i think that might be the breaking point for parents i think that you know the left is going to have a hard time trying to like okay it's it's understandable that it's been it's taken decades and decades and decades to get the people to if not affirm acquiesce you know the whole lgbt movement i think that you know forcing people to go along with uh, you know, homosexuality is the current thing, and then transgenderism as the current thing is going to be a lot easier than convincing parents to be okay with pedophilia. Um, and honestly, if parents are not able to sort of oppose, <clears throat> like the whole, like oppose, uh, you know, pro pedophilia uh, messaging, then I mean, honestly, I think the country's lost. You know, you can't really make an argument for being a moral nation if you're going to support pedophilia. It's tough, sad, but I think that's kind of like how things are going to end up happening. Let's see. Um, Mr. Peter said, when you watch Andrew Tate's compilation, um, not sure yet. Not sure yet. I was actually looking into some old drama. I don't know if we want to. I did some Andrew Tate clips recently that actually kind of went pretty hard, which is surprising. But it also makes sense why at this point, the only clips that are coming out are by him are like the good ones. Um, because most of everyone has already seen the bad ones, so like <laughs> that's probably part of it. And I've heard that he's kind of toned down his rhetoric, um, in the wake of uh, you know, getting banned and everything. Like Mike said, I run those teachers into bankruptcy with lawsuits and make sure they never work with teachers again. Yeah, I mean that that sort of stuff should have been happening when um it came to all the bathroom business too, though. So like, there's no. And there were people who were saying that kind of stuff, too. See, that's the tough thing. It's kind of hard to gauge, you know, when the parents are actually going to take a stand. I have, I have no idea. And you can talk about, like, the LGBTQ community. Environment. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people are, to be fair. I mean, I'm not on board with it. Like, for me, it's a, uh, it's a largely, it's like a religious thing, you know. Thankfully, thank goodness I'm a theocrat. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a theocrat. <laughs> thank goodness I'm not a theocrat. Because if I was a the because, look. This is one thing I don't like about like theocracies. It's a whole thing. You're getting me into all sorts of Chris Gamer B O I. You guys are getting into in all chat. kinds of like Can I join discussions today? Okay. So the thing I don't like what I don't like about theocracies is that it's really antithetical to the nation. Um, despite the fact that most uh, of the founders were Christians, um, uh, you know, America was founded as a land of, of liberty. You can't really have like lots of liberty when you are sort of promoting uh you know forcing everyone to like live in a christian way 
So, so that, that's, that's one thing. The second thing is, it's completely unbiblical to found your own theocracy without hearing from God directly. So every time in the scriptures, you hear, um, you know, whenever there is a theocracy in place, so like Israel, Judah, like those like 12 tribes and all of that stuff, that was all like run by God. Like, like God was the head honcho. He was the guy who was like running the show and he was like, okay, I'm going to establish a nation. I'm going to, you know, make you, uh, make your descendants like as like the, the sands and the, the, the seashore, all that stuff. Um, that's the only situation in which you can properly establish a theocracy because God is at the head of it. Otherwise, it's just an earthly um, yeah, hierarchy. And those should be run a little bit differently than, you know, a God-ordained um, like organization, like, which is why like one would assume that you would, you know, uh, you know apply, um, you know, Christian morals and standards to a marriage and to a uh, church but not um i don't know people who are like uh maybe not necessarily to every single person who's like in a dating or or somewhat non-committed relationship or uh you know like a government or something like that because those are all earthly constructs they're not like god ordained constructs so you can't you can't always especially if you're trying to rule over other people you can't always put god's rules on other people now of course if you're you know talking about um believers right so if you're talking about like you know talking to believers about how to date for example of course you would apply christian principles to that and even if you're talking to non-christians about dating too you would naturally and i'm going to skip the reactions because you guys are giving me some great content to talk about while i stream um th thanks uh chat by the way um for that but um, even when talking to non-Christians, uh, I mean, it would be best to give Christian advice, but still, um, you know, it's you can't 100% hold non-believers to the same standard as, uh, as uh, believers. It's, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, let's see here. Is where I get it. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Americans, you got Official your guns. Why not use them? <laughs> that's interesting. Said in the chat. <laughs> and like I said, I none of the trans, none of the trans people Christian. are. Because I'm assuming none of the tr what? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It, it, it sucks that you're wrong. Um. Official Mike Mike. You know, because I wish. Said in the chat. Because I wish you were right. I believe but, God for me left to get the milk and never get back. It, 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 it sucks that you're wrong, but um, yeah, there are some there are some trans folks who are who are pedophiles. And, I mean, I can't I can't speak on rates and whatnot. I can't be like, yo, someone. I can't say that like someone's more likely to be a pedophile for trans or anything like that. Just because I don't know, but I mean, if you look at pretty much any group, any you know, racial group, sexual group. Um, you know, when it comes to nationality, you are going to find some people who are pedophiles. So that's kind of a bold statement to say that no trans Mr. people Pizza. are pedophiles. So it doesn't make sense. Chat. Game audio is a bit too loud. Oh, game audio is loud? Shoot. See, I changed my audio settings because of the uh, truck announcement. Trump's voice is pretty uh, quiet. Hold on. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, Trump, Trump's voice was pretty quiet. Uh, no, but with, with my with my auto ducking not sufficient. But if I if I pumped Mike it up Mike. anymore, it would be pretty. Uh, Said in the chat. Nice, so don't Why don't we just shoot M pedos? Let me see here. Wait, give me a second. Sorry, hold on. I'm, I'm messing with the sound. Uh, you have to give me a second here. How do I not?
Official Mike Mike. Shoot. Said in Hold the on. chat. Why do I not? Hollywood is the pedo stronghold. Official yeah, that's Mike true. Mike. That's true. Said in the chat. We take M out, we win the war on pedos. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's, I think, I mean, that's, that's definitely something that could be, uh, definitely, definitely something that could be easily, easily done, I think. Hold on, wait, wait a second. How come I can't? Oh, I see. This is a, um, this is, wait a second. How do I, dang it. I don't know how to work. I, I I need to relearn how to how to use this plugin. Sorry. Hopefully the audio is, the audio is better now. Chat, let me know if the audio is better. Uh. Mike Mike said, um, "What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate?" Um, Andrew Tate's a broke clock. Uh, I think it'd be the best way to put it. He's not usually right, but he's not usually right, but sometimes he is. So. You know, it's not, he's not the best person to follow by any means, but he's certainly someone that, like, you shouldn't trust 100%. That makes sense. Hold on, shoot. Give me a second. Hey. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, hold up. Give me a second. Give me a second. I want to... Let me research this. Said in the chat. I want to look in the... Audio is better. I want to look into how to use this properly because I don't think I'm using the plugin right. I want to turn up the uh, the ducking setting a little bit. Hold on. Which Mike Mike said, I, I thought you can't date as a Christian. I mean, you can, uh, but you just can't have uh, sex. And, um... Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's weird. That should not be happening. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, I saw this dude spray Febreze in his face. That's so weird. That should not be happening. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, It was hilarious. Uh, let's see. Cut that down there. I should not be turning the volume up. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, hold on. Let me let me test this here. <laughs> All right, hold on. Give me a second. I'm I'm I'm, I'm testing this. This Official be Mike Mike said in the chat, "The Liberator <clears throat> retired from reacting to YTPS." Mr. Goodness. Pizza, I mean, I can't. Said in the chat, "The preview animation to DLVS Note Newbie will be look, a few if seconds." I'm, look, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest, Pizza, I can't completely blame him. Said in the chat, and yes, that is correct. Gage finally moved on from YTP reactions. Thank, man, thank goodness. That's awesome. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's, that, that's pretty good. Hold on, let me see. I'm gonna... Dang it, man. Hold up. Okay, hold up. I'm just gonna run the, the, uh, the music just so that I can, I can test whether or not... 
those filters getting triggered properly. Because it's supposed to see. I'm sure it's gonna. Okay, good. It's not being triggered. I don't know what was up with my original settings and what was causing them to behave the, the way that they were. I'm gonna have to replace them. I'm sorry for this, Nefu, y'all. Very. Pretty, it's pretty sad how unprofessional this is, this is actually. Uh, let's see here. This up. There we go. Here we go. Let's see. Official Let me turn down my threshold a little bit. Alright, let's see here. Is this. Oh, is this better? Oh, hold on, wait a second. That's weird. Bro, this is this is so broken. This is so dumb. Man, why did these <laughs> Hold on. Mr. Pizza said in the chat. Dude, some of his audience is so bad hurt about these Come on, people be a good community and move on with him. Not to mention a lot of them say they to cancel their living. It's so annoying YTP. that like Mr. Pizza these, oh, these plugins. Like these plugins were working completely it. perfectly fine Official earlier. Mike Mike. And I don't I don't know what happened, but they just like absolutely I'm broke. getting cancelled by woke brokies for working hard and making myself uncomfortable. It's it's just yeah, let's see Mike here, Mike. Said in the chat. Let me move this down here. Yeah, like I'm still gonna finish my YTP. Like that like my the audio should not be turned down at all here. <laughs> this is literally set to only trigger when the audio is like when I, basically when I'm speaking if you see that there it used to work perfectly it's not working anymore I don't know I don't know what happened it's so annoying Hold on, let's see here because this way like when I'm talking I'm not getting drowned out um let's see. I mean, do any of you guys know anything about auto ducking in OBS at all? What's up here? Try and see. Because you literally have settings to select. That's so strange because you literally have a have an option to select and be like, hey, only trigger this, only trigger this when the audio hits like a certain level, and it's not being triggered at all properly. This is so weird. Like the thing I don't understand is that this was working completely perfectly fine earlier. Uh, huh. Said in the chat. I don't think so. This is not working at all. Wow. I'm <laughs> like. I'm so flabbergasted because this was this was working perfectly like I think like literally the last time I, I did my stream like I, I did a, a, a stream about uh, Trump and the compressor was working perfectly pretty bizarre hold on Let's see here
Um, yeah, take a look at this here. I wonder if recomp has something to do with it, but or has like something that can that can deal with it. No, I don't, I don't think I don't think they do. I wonder if they broke it in an update, but I don't think I updated it either. Audacity out of official mic mic. Set to see. chat. If you think about it. <clears throat> Compressor. Official mic mic. To recommend it as a good place to start. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna pull these up. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay, so this is what it recommends. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so the ratio is like 32. Threshold is. They say 36 is like a good place to start. Yeah, no. Shouldn't happen. Easy. Easy. Let's see. 100. Output gain is. Output gain is set to zero. That doesn't apply anything. Right, so this doesn't apply anything. But I do want to apply something. So then here, like when I talk, there should be no output. Okay, well, I mean, this should work then. I guess it needs to be... <laughs> That's, but that's comical. But so I, I'm guessing that what I need to do is I just need to be more aggressive, more aggressive with my threshold. Well, let me see here. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. But I don't know. So weird. Maybe I don't. Oh, let me see here. Wait, wait. What does the ratio have to do with it? Like if I pull the ratio all the way down, what does that do? Let's see. Does this do anything? If I pull this down, because look, that turns it way down. That's like insanely dramatic. Shouldn't. Oh wait, hold on. I completely forgot. I. <laughs> but I had this enabled before. I had it boosted. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try this. Hold on. All right, how about how about this? Let's see. It's down. I think when I had it, I was down to like negative 10. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. It's up a little bit. This is freaking insane. Because it had to, that to re redo all this. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's fine. Okay. So I think the audio levels are, are okay ish. I mean, I do think the desktop audio could be a little bit louder. There we go. Not bad. Okay. And there we go. We've got some. Oof. That was just bad. That was just. <laughs> Yo, that was that was just, that was just terrible. Okay, hold on. I think that was just. <laughs> Yo, okay. It's insane how much this is like dragging down the audio. 
but it really, it really shouldn't be dragging the audio down that much. I, I, I should be turning up the gain in order for it to be technically sound. Anyways, I'm done. I'm done. Let's go over this. Okay. Probably sucks, but it's like the best I can do. Anyways, I now have, I now have, I have so many chats to get to. I talk, you can't even hear. Let's see. Whenever I talk, you can't even hear the audio from the game. Okay, there we go. That, that takes it a little bit. There, hold up. How's that? Let's see here. Let me let me know. Let me know if this does anything. Let's see. Let me, know, let me know if this. Official mic mic. Set in the chat. Mr. Pizza the Liberator lost 100 subs. So let's see here. How about this? Official Mike Mike. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. He was at 4.54k subs. Now he's at 4. Wait. It's the official Mike Mike. It's the only thing that's getting triggered. The ratio. The only thing that's getting triggered is the ratio. That's crazy. Anyways. I'm gonna have to roll with this, even though it annoys me so much. That's this is working properly. I'm sure it'll 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 technically do. All right. Oh, let me let me read back all your guys' chats. Well, actually, no. Just say what you wanted me to say, what you wanted me to uh, react to, because I missed it. I'm sorry. I was kind of caught up in all of the uh, ins and outs of uh, streaming stuff here. <laughs> Yeah, let me know, chat. What I what I what I miss, because I want to I want to get into this. Official Mike Mike. Play on the server. Said in the chat. The ratio went broke. Oh wait, oh you mean it went broke? Is that what you're saying? I mean, it's so true. I mean, it absolutely like destroyed itself. I don't know what happened. It's looking a little bit better now. I'm gonna have to do some test runs when we get a chance. Sorry, I took up so much of the stream. Mr. Pizza. Looking into that, by the way, it just annoys me when wow, ten people unsubbed from I've spent because he decided a lot of time kind of perfecting my sound. Official and for like Mike the Mike. past Set in the five chat. to ten streams, has been like no. the only times where I feel like my streams have been like sounding passable. And now all of a sudden it just like breaks. Like this boat right here, about to break. It's very annoying. Like I think. Official Mike Mike. Here's the thing. One thing about streaming. Chat. Is that a lot of times. A lot of times. This is one one thing I like about streaming. Is that a lot of times. Where the heck am I? What? I have no idea where I am. This is not what I'm trying to get to. Um, <laughs> a lot of times, streaming is literally just, okay, you pop on and you just go. And a lot of times, that's what streaming is. Now, let's see here. Unfortunately, Mr. Pizza. that's not always what it is. Chat. I'm working on a preview animation to DLVS Node Newbie. Gonna be a few Gosh. seconds long. Once it's all done, I'll put in reaction requests. Why Official did the Liberator lo lose, lose subs? Said in the chat. God left me to dust. Wait. Official Mike left. Mike. Said in the chat. I'm agnostic. He left YTPs. Oh, he left YTPs. Okay, I see. I mean, that's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Now I'm actually probably gonna tune into a stuff for. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's always it's always good when artists like mature and grow, so
Back way to home. Okay, perfect. Thank goodness for these signs. Said in the chat. But yeah, no. Like people got hurt that gauge left YTPS. The YTP community is like so toxic. Said in the chat. And he losing subs. The whole community is so toxic. I'm 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 applauding the man for kind of like running away from it. With like the speed of Usain Bolt. Maybe maybe he's not, but I do applaud him for trying. Because, I mean, hey, in my opinion, the, hum the humor in, um, I have no idea where Official I am. Mike Mike. The, the humor in the chat. of YTPs is, like, very, like, low-level humor. It's, like, very basic. It's it's incredibly like repetitive. Doing a short you know, preview it's people... to start the animation is so I can like, mainly get feedback from you, Giga Chat, about you no color choices. Like I think, like YTPs are for people who think that like the word penis is like a punchline all by itself. Which is incredibly stupid. Nether hub. There we go. Like, it's not like actual humor. It's like like shock humor if you like remove the humor and it's like just the shock and the shock is the part that's supposed to be funny it's like what uh, let's see i'm so confused but also feel like i'm going exactly the right direction <laughs> So. Oh man, I meant to dig into the Discord and see where, where, where people were at. We're gonna preview animation to Daniel Lord versus Nine D. Official Mike back. said in the chat. I'm so confused. My life was a punchline until I sold my soul to Satan. He did what now? Uh, what? Bro, I love how you say stuff like this, and then you get Your mad pizza. if people are like checking in Set on you to see chat. if you're okay. I mean, making white you are a still takes a lot great of time and big walking. Yours editing. Can you're... they become stale? Well, yet, but it depends on the white piece and the Look, creator you watch. Mike, Mike, I'm gonna say this in all kindness. You need some help, and I am not professional help. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. I'm not. I'm not licensed to do therapy. <laughs> so, like, sorry to disappoint, man. I mean, I, I'm sure you're in a tight spot, and you don't want to like. Hear about God or whatever, but Official like, Mike, Mike. you seem pretty wounded. Like you definitely need some help. Ever since I sold my soul, life has been excellent. Bro, no, who? You, you're not feeling anyone, bro. Bro, you literally post. Mike, Mike. What the heck? Said in the chat. Therapy is expensive. <laughs> you literally, yeah, that's true. If you literally. He's really post the most disturbing stuff in my chat since Drag Crypto got banned. Mr. P. And then you're at, you're saying, Oh yeah, no, chat. my life is perfect. BTW Giga Chat, the DLVS Node newbie animation was supposed to happen months ago, but I went into big and quit too soon. So now I'm taking slower. Mm. Official Mike Mike. Said in the chat. Best therapy is a Friday night beer. Nah, it's probably the worst therapy. By the way, what did your your school end up saying to you? I never read all your DMs. Did you send me a lot of them? What did what did your school end up saying to you about um, all the disturbing stuff you were saying or whatever? Official Mike Mike. Shoot. Said in the chat. Wait, how am I being disturbing? Bro, you're over here saying. 
No, do, do you not? Okay, that's like another like bit of evidence pointing to the fact that you need like, you need some help. And I I feel bad laughing because I feel like yeah I I I, I sincerely do feel bad laughing. I'm sorry, I'm mic. laughing at a fight, man. Said but in like, the chat. it was my joke was too edgy. There's there's literally so many there's so many red flags that you're just like displaying here. That only people who like definitely need like some help with this play. Like you're putting out cries of help and then saying that they're a joke. I'm I was even stripping you literally instead of your like you sold your soul to the devil. What am I supposed to say? T E? Like that's not that's not funny. It, like and it's not a joke. Wait, bro, what? Mr. Pizza said in the chat. I don't think I'll end YTP reactions for I my channel, do this. but slow down and post them less. That's good. That's good. If you can branch out and do different types of content, that's like, that's gold. This is hilarious. Official Mike Mike <laughs> said in the chat. This. Well, if you want me to leave the streams, I will leave your streams and not bother you again. No. By all means, stay in. I don't mean stay in the stream. I don't mind you being in the streams at all. I'm just saying that you should also get some professional help. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, you got the phantom on a boat. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. I didn't even know those things to do. When I'm off stream, I'll fix the thing with the, uh... When I'm off stream, I'll, I'll fix the thing with the auto duck. But you, are, are, the, are the levels, like, good now? Uh -huh. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, You are only saying it cause I oppose God. <laughs> no, I'm saying it <laughs> No, I'm saying it because you're a walking red flag. Do uh, uh, you, you genuinely think that only Christians would be concerned about you saying, I sold my soul to the devil? You think only Christians would be bothered by that or, or find it to be strange, unusual, and unnerving? I'm not gonna roast you, but I'm just saying. Mr. Pizza said in the chat, I got an idea for a bigger project. I want to make a video titled The Downfall of BBT Reacts. Maybe you'd be able to cover it for stream as it will be one of the best videos I make. Official Mike Mike Look. said in the chat, A walking red flag. Look, I might be able to... Said in the chat, I won't make the downfall of BBT Reacts a documentary like the Daniel Lord cancellation. See, the tough thing is, I don't know. I mean, official look. Mike Mike said in the chat, Kim Kardashian sold her soul, so did Lil Nasx. It's not that deep. We saw Lil Nasx pole dance for the devil. Look, I wouldn't. Um, of course, whether or not like you're actually selling the soul to the devil and like. That's a whole another discussion. Whether or not you can actually sell your soul to the devil. I would just say that's just not something you want to mess around with. Um, it's also not something that's like a like a laughing laughing or a joke either. It doesn't even work as a joke. So I'm a little bit confused about why you think that's funny. Uh, it's just kind of bewildering and nonsensical. 
But um, what is it? Mr. Pizza says we'll make the downfall of BBC. Yeah. Oh yeah. On that front, um, I don't know. I can react to it, but I may not have. I may not have the the react the type of reaction you might be expecting. I'm just saying because I don't know, every single thing that I've seen you guys talk about in the Discord when it came to him, it didn't really seem that there was much to him that was bad, it was just that, like, you know. Oh, surprise, a YTP creator made some edgy content. I, I wonder how that happened, or what might have caused him to go down that road. It just sounds to me like he went down, he went to the, like, inevitable conclusion of every, like, edgy YTP creator, you guys got mad about that. That's what it, that's what it sounds like. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, Dude, if the devil was as powerful as you claimed he was, I wouldn't be here talking to you. Heck, my channel would never exist. He is weak. That, that, that's not true. I don't, that's not true at all. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, BBT reacts just reacts to bad videos. Ah, it's time to cancel him over. Yeah. Videos you reacted to are bad. Ooh, scary. <laughs> I don't. Sorry, man. I don't know what content co content you have uh, rolled up, so we'll have to see. But Mr. Pizza it doesn't sound like he did anything too chat. serious, from what I heard. I mean, I'm 100% down to see a normal reaction, but there is a lot more to BBT than meets the eye. Hey, that's not the tree. I'm interested. I mean, I'll. It, hey, if you make the content, I'll watch it. So. Huh? Yeah, I definitely need to get get into the groove of doing more reactions. Um, it's a lot. I've been I've been pretty busy, so I haven't even had time to do a lot of like the like scripted or like planned content. I mean, even though nothing I do is scripted, but like. Said in the chat, like his remarks. Um, I, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but um. Mr. Huh? Pizza said in the chat, it's not a cancellation huh? of BBT. Uh, I have things I want to discuss. Uh, and no, it's not huh? a cancellation of him. Huh? Official Mike Mike said in the chat, whatever I did last summer worked wonders. Let's see. Mr. Pizza said, yeah. Dude, holy frick. Uh, hold on, chat. Let me see. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, Did I sell my soul to Satan? Nah, but I did made a collusion. Not a joke, I did sell my soul. You're, you're kind of proving my point that it's not a joke, but um, yeah, I don't understand what what makes this happen. To me. Um, but I so typically when I game, I don't wear a watch. Official. I started Mike. wearing a watch more, Sit more, more, uh, more, more recently. Anyways, I G T G. I feel I'm dragging this stream ah. down. Good night. Started wearing a watch more recently. Um. Just because, you know, this thing is thin, right? You would think you know, this thing is thin. Um, and for context, the reason I, I don't usually wear a watch is because a lot of times, I think maybe it's the angles or whatever, but whenever I game, like, for some reason, maybe I, t I wear them too tight, but they like cut off like some of the, they start cutting off the circulation in my arm. Um, and so I've been Mr. Pizza. like, gaming Set for a while chat. wearing this I think the downfall of BBT this, uh, is a good title this watch. I want to talk about like the things that in a way lead to the downfall and of his reputation and cover many new more annoying like, aspects of I him. thought it'd be fine because I've, 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 I've worn it before while gaming I thought it'd be fine but um, like I was gaming and all of a sudden I noticed that like you know 
I can't really feel a whole lot in my left hand. And then I was like, oh, it's the watch. Even though it's literally the loosest that I, it's on the loosest like setting I've had it on in like a long time. I'm like, no confused. I don't know if it's like a sensory thing or if it's like too tight or what. It's super weird. I wish I could figure out what's causing it. But for now, yeah, no watch. Let's see here. Official Mike Mike. Official Mike Mike. Chat. Downfall of official Makimi is next. Official Mike Mike said, whatever I did last summer worked wonders. What did you do? Did I, did I sell my soul to Satan? Nah, but I made a collusion. What? Bro. Hi. Do you need help beyond my power? You say you literally sold your soul to the devil? Official Mike Mike. In the chat. This right is now. not gonna. This is, bro. This is Mr. not gonna work. Well. I can't believe Set in the chat. this is crazy. I don't know my explanation of how the downfall of BBT is gonna be like is whack. So I'll just link the video once it finally comes out. Bro, I hope. I hope you. Uh, everything turns out. All right for you. All right, official Mike Mike. Official Mike Mike. I mean, you got some disturbing stuff going on. God ain't gonna help me, so yeah. You got some disturbing stuff. I mean, you've got like some cracks in your logic, like you were saying that oh, the devil ain't that powerful, um, and then you're making deals with him. What? I hate that like I'm, I'm laughing at it because it's a, it's, it's a very serious thing. But I official Mike Mike said in the chat, God wasn't there for me. I did what I needed to to survive. And you thought that meant it would be a good idea to give your soul over to like the devil? Like, I mean, official I understand Mike being Mike. in a desperate situation, but said in the chat, that's a bit. I much. helped myself. And what, what did the devil do? Like, okay, here's the thing I don't understand, right? Said in the chat, unlocked my true potential. The devil unlocked your true potential. I don't, I don't know. Wait. Hey. I am actually kind of at a loss for words. Um, see, in streaming school, they don't teach you how to react to someone telling you that they that they sold your their soul to the devil. So, this one's new for me. I didn't see this in the, in the tutorial. Mr. Pizza said in the chat, "How um, did this stream turn so religious?" Official Mike Mike said in the chat, listen. "Well, I got a good job, girlfriend, and grades higher than ever." Hey, yo, isn't there, isn't there a uh, Bible verse about, like, gaining the world and losing your soul? It sounds applicable. And it really sucks. Like, I understand if you're, like, looking for something, like, short-term, why, like, you feel like turning to Satan would be, like, a good option. You know, you're like, I want, I want these good grades. I want, I want a girlfriend. I want a, a good job. So I'm just gonna like turn to Satan because Satan Satan will help me. But, you know, nothing anything that Satan or Sin or anything like that that like, can offer is free. There's always a cost to that. You may know the nominal fee, but you know, there's usually a delay before you get that bill. So I'm So you know when you when you get that that Mr. Pizza that full total said in the chat I don't probably not gonna be happy girlfriend XD I just ain't interested in dating anyone official Mike Mike said in the chat I didn't ask him for a GF it just happened yeah but you gave your soul over to him right that's what you said so in any case 
Let's see here. Okay, you made a very bad deal. And whether you believe it or not, there will be consequences from that. Which is really unfortunate, and I wish that there was something I could do to help, but I mean, I can't, so. Mike, Mike, don't feel like you have Official to leave Mike the stream. Mike. Said in the chat, maybe if God actually cared for me, I would have not had to take these measures. Um, what makes you say that he doesn't care for me? For you, though. Mike, why do you say why do you say that he doesn't care for you? Mr. Pizza said in the chat, you'll have to splash holy water on Mike, Mike. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, but it is what it is, my friend. Yeah, and that's a sad part too, because like, if if you if you gave over your soul, you gave over your soul. I don't know how you can take that back. Granted, God's a pretty powerful dude, so if he wants to bring your soul back, he can. And if you're open to it, then yeah, that's something that can happen, but. You know, deals with the devil are famously known for not going well. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, all the times I begged and pleaded for his support, he did nothing. Support for what? Official Mike Mike said in the chat, I had a dark life with God and he wasn't a father. Wait, 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 can you unpack like what you mean by that exactly? Or if you want, like, I'd be happy to hop on a call to you if you want to do that, but I'm just kind of curious as to, like, where you're at with your, Official your Mike mindset Mike here. Said in the chat, if God can prove to actually be a father. <laughs> what does Mr. that mean? Pizza. Said in the chat, see, I'm not religious at all, so I'm just listening to all this stuff that I have no idea about. I mean... It's pretty interesting. It's not every day that you come across someone who says, Oh yeah, I guess what? Over the weekend I, you know, sold my soul over to the devil. Not common uh water cooler talk, if you will. Official Mike Mike said in the chat When I needed him most he wasn't there for me. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Because there's like a lot of language of like, in what you're saying here, it's like, he wasn't there for me, wasn't present, um, a lot of that type of rhetoric, but what does that mean exactly? Because typically, and I think I've talked about this in the previous stream, Typically, it's not that God wasn't there for you or caring about you or watching over you because, I mean, he probably was, but it's just that you wanted Official something Mike Mike that would make you feel good in the chat. that God, that God didn't give you. creeping into my family's life and I had enough and I said to God, fine, if you're not there, then I renounce my belief in you. Wait, what? What started creeping into your family's life? I'm a bit confused, but... Suffice it to say, typically, official Mike Mike. This happens when someone's upset because of life. And bad luck and no support from God. Official Mike Mike said in the chat for over twenty years. Over twenty years? You're saying you went? You're saying you went twenty years without anything good happening in your life? Mike Mike said in the chat. 
chat. Like the bad luck and tragedy. Good, so you went... So you went 20 years without anything good happening in your life? Is that what you're saying? Said in the chat. My brain can't handle all this loop. Mr. Pizza. Said in the chat. LOL. Official Wait. Mike Mike. Said in the chat. For 20 years. Nothing good happened in your life for 20 years? I don't know. I think that there's some limit to how believable that is. I mean, it's hard to go a day without a single good thing happening to you. So. Said in the chat. Yeah. So, like, for example, you never had a birthday where anyone gave you presents. You know, you never had a friend at all. You never got a piece of candy. Um... You never had running water. Um, you never had food to eat. Now I'm just trying to go down the list here. You never had money, toys, and stuffed animals. Um, you know. N you never had Official any of those Mike, things? Mike. Said in the chat, everything good was a trap. Break. Um, wait, 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 He said, everything goes a trap? What do you mean by that? Everything goes a trap? How is, there, how is something good a trap? Mr. Pizza said in the chat, I've had my good and bad moments in life. Well, yeah, everyone Special has. Mike Mike said in the chat, try having a mom die, abuse by school, etc. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that everything in your life is bad. Like... The way you're describing it, right? You're kind of making it... Official Mike Mike said in the chat, A grandma die of cancer and illness and yeah, almost no. dying twice. Mr. Pizza... I mean, that, bro, that literally happened to me. Chat. You're, Example, you're, you're saying... A good moment for me was when I hit 1k. A bad moment for me would be when I broke my arm. I mean, and now maybe this is just the magical mirage of the internet. But you're you're you're, you're talking as if like nothing bad has ever happened to me. How about, how about bad things happen to me? But that doesn't mean that I renounce God. It doesn't mean that God was 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 never there, right? The proof of of God God's presence and existence isn't how many bad things aren't happening. You know, if, 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 let's see here, if God is the God of like, happy, happy, money, money, all the time, time, then every Christian would be as rich as Joel Osteen, right? But that's not the case. Like, what person... Well, actually, no, that's not even Official a fair, Mike fair Mike question to ask. Said in the chat, and the church gave up on me. All right, well, that one's on the church. Mr. Like, Pizza. Some churches really just Said suck. in the chat, I think an example for a bad moment for Giga Chat is when we send him gay hellion hero YT piece. Nah, fam. Official like... Mike Mike. Said in the chat, I could never find peace. <laughs> Bro, like, keep it at 100, Mr. Pizza. Like, Compared to what I'm talking about, which I'm not going to talk about on stream, but, um, those are, like, the good old days, so, no. Um. Official the, Mike Mike. Let's see. Said in the chat. And now I, I finally, I finally do, and you don't like it. Let's see here. I never find peace. Um. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, it, that's not what I'm taking umbrage with. I think it's, I think having peace is, is pretty dope. The problem is, is that this peace is not going to last and it's going to lead to an even greater hell than what you were seeking to escape. Perhaps even literally. And so, like, if you're thinking short term, right, which is what a lot of people do 
when they are in dire straits um in my favorite jordan peterson clip ever he kind of mentioned that where he was like um you know you don't think about you know the next year from now month from now even next week from now or even tomorrow but you're like how can i get through today and so when you have that like short-term perspective it's just like i don't feel peace right now let me do something that'll make me feel peace right now it completely makes sense if you're not thinking about oh well, what are the ramifications 15 years of like down the road of me i don't know selling my soul to the devil um so like from that perspective i completely understand like it makes sense why you did Official what you Mike Mike. did even if it was the wrong Said decision in the chat straw that broke the camel's back yeah mr pizza said in the chat i'd kind of talk about my beliefs and stuff but that's not the kind of humor we do on this show okay you try being darker than than mike mike <laughs> No, don't don't get it twisted. I'm not mad that you found peace. I'm mad that you s somehow got duped into doing something that will bring you even greater pain now than you were experiencing before, um, because of the promise of some sort of short-term satisfaction, which you ended up getting. So now you're kind of like hooked, line and sink. You're hooked. You're hooked into like this scheme or or whatever it is now, this agreement, and you're not 100% aware of like what you've gotten yourself into. Question. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, Mr. Pizza ain't a Batman like me. What is Mr. That? Pizza what does that mean? said in the chat, Oh, well, fair point. I guess I can discuss maybe one thing. Ain't a Batman like me? What does that even mean? Did any of you guys tune into Thorbin's uh, stream? Because he was on the Car 3 SMP. I don't know if I missed any SMP lore. I meant to check the Discord, the, the Car 3 Discord, but I forgot. Official Mike Mike said Ooh. in the chat, I don't go to church, I don't take days off, I never burn out, I feel great, I don't go on trips where I have it all, then something happens and I lose it. Official Mike Mike said <clears throat> in the chat, Mr. Pizza ain't dark or edgy unless it's his YTPS. Mr. Pizza that's true. That's actually said true. in the chat, See, personally, I think that when we pass away, we don't got to a heaven or a hell. I think we reincarnate into another life. Official oh, so Mike, Mike um, said in the chat. That's Buddhism, right? I think similar MR pizza. That, that's, that's, that's Buddhism, right? I believe. Um, I'm not going to try. Okay, here's, here's the interesting thing here, right? Mike Mike said, I don't go to church. I don't take days off. I never feel burnout. I feel great. I don't go on trips where I have it all and something happens and I lose it. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that there's some sort of catch to all of that? Right? I'm just asking. Like, I, like, I feel like that'd be a reasonable assumption to make, right? You know, nobody just hands you a, a trillion gold, like, uh, bullions or whatever they're called. Like, nobody's just gonna, like, give you, a, a like, a gajillion ducats and then be like, I hope you like this. Everything costs something. And if the price of what you're being offered is hidden, that says something about the price. You know? And fortunately, you kind of got yourself into a situation uh, where you had to add it to your cart before you could see the price. 
Official mic mic. Said in the chat. Yeah, that's the price to pay for my soul. I'm sorry, man. I, will, I wish I could help you. Do you think that's a good thing? Are you a Darth Vader stan? Bro, this is wild. I did not think we would be end up talking about something like this on stream. Official mic mic. Do go to a heaven or a hell. You don't know till you're there. Here's, here's the problem Mike. with this, right? Said in the chat. Well, no. Here's the problem with this. Okay. Do you believe in uh Jupiter? Like that it's something that exists. And, you know, maybe this is for both of you guys. You no, know, do either of you believe that Jupiter exists? Do you think that it's, like, a real place? Because there's an immediate... There's an immediate issue, like, logical issue, to kind of that statement there. But then also... There's more that definitely needs to be said about the historicity of the, the Bible. Which is a complete another thing, but just from the logical perspective on that particular front, do you guys believe that Jupiter is a place that exists? Official Mike Mike said in the chat. Not habitable for life. Mr. B. Well, do you think it exists though? Said in the chat. Well, yet yeah, I think it's a real place. A real place? Not habitable for life, but it's a place. Okay. Official Mike Mike. Said in the chat. So. It exists, but it's not habitable okay. for life. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you believe that Jupiter is a place, right? Um. Now, how do you know it's not habitable for life though? How do you know that? How do, you, how do you know it's not habitable for life? Because it's it's pretty easy to to like say, oh yeah, I believe this thing. But it's, it's, it's a little bit harder, it can be a little bit harder to like explain why you believe it. But I like to hear your reasonings for why Jupiter is a real place. And why, it's, and specifically how you know for a fact that it's not habitable. Official Mike Mike said in the chat temperature measurements too low gravity gas scientific measurements done by space probes official mic mic okay. said in the chat but no water but, but, mr pizza said in the chat because it's too far from the sun so it's beyond freezing temperatures humans can handle but how no do you water. know what come on wait wait, wait a official second mic mic said in the chat this is apples to oranges. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm, I'm not really explaining this, okay? How do you know all these facts? Okay, how do you know, how do you know these measurements? 
are true and accurate? How do you know that there's no water? How do you know all the freezing temperatures? Like, all that stuff. How do you know that? Oranges. I'm going to explain why in a second, and, you know, I'm not, I personally believe in Jupiter. So my point is not to just prove the, 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 the existence of Jupiter, but I'm just trying to break down your guys' thought process here. Pizza said in the chat. I mean, I guess fair point. The school education systems are flawed, so maybe you could live on Jupiter. Official Mike Mike said in the chat. Because Jupiter likely has hydrogen atoms and helium, but no oxygen, therefore water cannot exist. How do you know? Official Mike Mike said in the chat. See, my point is this, okay? NASA is known for being reputable in space exploration. Here's, here's my point, and I can point you guys to videos like kind of explaining all of this. Because uh, actually, if you if you look up Jay Warner Wallace, he breaks down how this is the case. If you want to like see how this is proven. But Official suffice it to life. say, okay, Said in we the believe that it is rather difficult to have life when temps go below minus 100. You know, look up, look up Jay Warner Wallace and you guys will get a chance. Okay, he, he, pro he can prove this better than I. But my, my point in, in this, in this, uh, in this exercise was kind of to establish that we don't believe that things exist. Um, based on whether or not we've been there, or whether or not we've experienced them. We rely on reliable Let accounts, so. right? Said in the chat. If, like, What's up? if someone says, hey, you know, put in your, you know, you, you need to go to Courtyard Street in order to pick up a package for me. I'm not going to be like, oh, you can't, you can't say that Courtyard Street, like, exists, like, you know, because you've never been there, and I've never been there, so who's to say that it exists? You can't really do that. Official Mike because Mike. you have, in the Florida figure, your friend, stating, stating that this, this street exists. And very similarly, when it comes to Jupiter, right? You guys all believe that Jupiter exists. Why? Because you guys have seen images Mike. of it, accounts in the of chat. it, um, the Bible bits, of, bits of evidence that... Um, you no know, scientific Mr. measurements, Pizza. all those things. And similarly, said in the chat. Um, I mean, technically, you could live on Jupiter. If you got all the stuff, the you will need to survive. I Not believe himself. that he heaven, heaven exists in the chat. because it is we a have. That doesn't need to be answered, oh. Mike. Official Mike, Mike said in the chat. It's just stories. Heaven, ex heaven exists, and we, we know that heaven exists because we have accurate accounts of it from so. the scriptures. Now, of set course, that's chat. all predicated on believing that the scriptures are, in Mars. fact, the Official most Mike Mike. reliable book of the Bible, in the a chat. book in, in like, Does no newbie history see himself like, as a giga chat. all time. But, um, yeah, check out Jay Warner Wallace. That really explains it way better than me, but as, as, suffice it to say, the, the Bible is the most historically accurate book of all time. Um, so, there, right there, we have from the most like reliable uh, writings known to man accounts of there being a heaven and there there being a hell. That sort of Official demonstrates Mike. that those are real things Seven. that actually exist. Scriptures are stories. Well, yes, they're stories, but they're 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 largely true. The parts that are intended to be uh, taken literally. Um, let's see here. Official Mike Mike said in the chat but if heaven is real then stephen hawking's is correct correct about what i've never followed stephen hawking's all that closely um 
Let's see here. Uh, does, does, not, does not newbie see himself as a Giga Chad? No, I don't. You guys gas me up. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a Giga Chad. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, there being many universes and dimensions. Um, hmm. I don't know, um, because one thing too is that the scriptures don't explain whether or not heaven and hell are a, uh, a physical location or, or a location or, or like a, a place that exists on a different, um, plane of existence. I can't remember if the new heavens and new earth are a physical place or a spiritual place. Uh, now, the scriptures do speak on there being a spiritual world and a physical world. So yes, that does imply that there are at least like two different dimensions of existence. But I don't think that there's anything in the scriptures that corroborates the idea of different universes entirely. Those are two separate things. I think that, if I remember correctly, dimensions are where, you know, you can have two things that exist in the same place physically but they can't interact because they're in different dimensions. Is that correct? I think, I think that sounds right. Mr. Pizza said in the chat, I mean, yeah, there probably is. Space is endless. It never ends. There is infinite wonders out there. No, I don't think that there... There's been no evidence that, uh that there are multiple universes. I do think, again, certainly there there are... Uh, Official Mike Mike said in the chat, maybe I'm a good Christian boy in another universe. There's no evidence that there are other universes. Uh, that's just a theory, a game theory. But certainly dimensions. Uh, The scriptures speak to Official dimensions. Mike Mike I think. Said in the chat. The fact. Maybe there is a universe where we call MR Pizza Giga Chat. <laughs> um. Now, of course. Let's see here. It doesn't even take a, a Christian to say that. Uh, it doesn't even take a Christian or like a religious background to acknowledge that there are multiple points of existence out there because um, you know even from scientific you know perspective like the scientific community cannot for example explain life at all mr you know um, said in the chat maybe there is another the Bible, universe where i have the powers from naruto like look like a scientist cannot explain how Someone who is brain dead cannot have the same autonomy Official as Mike someone Mike who is uh, said in the chat. Who is not brain dead. Maybe we all have well, not, superpowers well, brain in another realm. There are certain people who are sorry. Well, I'm kind of speaking out of the pocket here, but there are Mr. people who are Pizza in comas. Let's said see. in the uh, chat. Maybe in another universe, no newbie takes up seven rows in the movies. There are like people right now who are like in comas and whatever, and like everything with them physically is fine. Um, but they can't interact, they can't do anything at all. Um, and that's just how they are. Um, and they are, people are like waiting for them to, to come out of like whatever slumber they're in, they're on life support and stuff. Uh, there is no explanation for why, physically, there's literally no reason why just looking at the physical, they're not able to just like get up and move around. Um, and I think that's because, I mean, the soul, I suppose, is just like, one, one, would, one could, could, could make the assumption that the soul is not there. And I would, I would assume you could be a very bad scientist and not say, argue, or acknowledge that there is, there has to be something outside of the realm of the physical 
those that play when it comes to life on these. You know? You'd have to explain why mark. you said in the chat can walk around we and get a drink when we die in our minds that has been proven. You have to explain why you could you can walk Official around mic, and like mic. go get a glass of milk. Said in the chat. But like a sucked in through brain waves. Okay, through brain waves, but who triggers the brain waves? To like animate you and make you do like this and that. Mr. Pizza. That is not explained by the said physical the realm chat. at all. Everyone technically has a power. It's called adrenaline. It can be bloody powerful when you tap into it. Okay, but if that's okay, if all took adrenaline, then go go pump your your stuffed animal filled with adrenaline. See what happens. It's not gonna come alive. If we could explain life into the physical realm, we could bring stuffed animals to life. We could, but we can't because the key the key to life is nothing that we hold our hands. It's not something that we can access. Uh, Got access to the spiritual realm. Official so, folks who practice witchcraft, for example, I'm sure would be able to like resurrect some people up from the dead. Official Mike Mike said in the chat. Electricity. I love adrenaline. Electricity. I mean, okay, go put a defibrillator on a stuffed animal then, and bring use it to bring it back to life. I want to I see what happens. This is not doable. Soon. But bro, this is high key invigorating. This is like, and maybe I need to, you know, go over some like apologetics videos and kind of break down kind of where I'm coming from, explain why the, the Bible is the, the, the most historically accurate and reliable collection of literature like ever. Official Mike Mike said in the chat. Filial Behemoth, Bisba, Asmodus, Satanus, Lucifer. Why can't why can't we bring stuffed animals to life? Why why can't we do that? Why can't we bring dead people to life using science? Official Mike Mike said in the chat, it's a meme they use with random pics of their dogs. Official Mike Mike said in the chat, adrenaline is our inner health. <laughs> Yeah, probably. And by the way, I'm, I'm not trying to be antagonistic or anything, so I'm sorry if I am coming off that way. Um, context, I was in a speech in the debate club. I love hearing, I love, I love going through debates, discussing rhetoric, and that sort of thing. So I'm not attacking any of you guys. I'm just having a discussion and trying to like reason things out with you guys. So I'm kind of looking for you know, explanations of your, your guys' reasonings. Because, you know, you can, you can say whatever you want, but sometimes those, not every, not everything is, uh, Official Mike defensible. Mike said in the chat, the cells within the body die off to the point you can't be resurrected, adding to the fact the neurons are disconnected. Hmm. So if you make new neurons or cells, then you can bring someone back to life? Official Mike Mike said in the chat, I didn't accuse you of attacking me. Yeah, no, I just understand, like, 
how it could come off that Mr. way. Mr. Pizza said in the chat. I mean, yeah, there probably is a way to reanimate someone from the dead. Science is catching up. It's scary to think what people will be able to do the more it advances. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're not entirely wrong, but you're never going to be able to Official create Mike Mike life said in the chat, on your own. It has to be within a certain time frame. You're never going to be able to create life on your own uh, outside of sex. Um, like, you're not going to be able to, like, bring life into reanimate objects without the use of something otherworldly of a different dimension. Official so either Mike the power Mike of God or the power of the devil. Said in the chat. Never Otherwise, you'd have to use cybernetics. But this is going long. I know we need to wrap up the stream. Bro, it's late. I hate, I hate that I, uh... I hate that the stream ran so late, um... Well, not the stream ran so late, but like I got, got started so late. I missed everything with all the Car 3 guys. If I end up missing Car 3 shenanigans, like, y'all should actually go... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link in the, uh... I'm actually gonna go put the link to his channel in, uh... uh in the chat here. Because you guys should check it out. Go subscribe to this dude and watch his streams, especially when he's uh, streaming Car 3 SMP stuff. Because, um. Yeah, sometimes I'm late with homework and stuff, so. This way you can catch all of the Car 3 SMP action. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate these conversations. This is kind of crazy. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it's really fun. I'm sorry about, like, kind of the stomach I got on when it comes to, uh. The microphone and everything. I'm gonna sort that out off screen. I just got a little bit frustrated just because it was working perfectly when I did my last stream. Now it's not. I'm still frustrated. But thanks, thanks everyone for tuning in. I will see you guys later.